Yo, what's going on everyone? So today we are doing the Drive for the Cure 300 at the Roval. So, if you remember, we won here in the Cup Series. However, this is the Xfinity Series, shorter races, actually this race is like half the race distance of uh, the Cup race. It's like 55 laps as opposed to uh, like 110 or something like that, whatever the Cup Series was. Um, and I'll tell you what, I've been saying it forever, look how close this championship is. I cannot get over that. This is awesome. This is what racing's all about, chat. You have no idea how good it feels to be this close in championship points. It's nerve-wracking because I want to win this championship, but that's what makes racing great. 105 difficulty, 100% race length, of course. We're doing 55 laps. Full distance. We're going the distance. Um, Trick yellow, single stage, all that fun stuff. Let's go to the track, and yeah. PFC, welcome to the stream, my dude. Glad you can make it on out. How's everyone doing tonight? Or today? This afternoon? I don't know, maybe it's night for some of y'all. I just got home from uh, my student teaching, so I am a little bit tired, but I'm excited to do this race. I love the Xfinity series, man. You guys have no idea. I'm really looking forward to NASCAR Heat 4 and, and doing exclusive uh, Xfinity coverage. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, this is the setup that we're running. Of, of course, since it is a, uh, a championship mode, we are doing a uh, default setup. Uh, the one that we're doing right here, it's uh, setup number 3. We are going to bump down the brake bias, but that's the only thing we're going to change. Other than that, honestly... We're, uh, I did a mock qualifying Testing, run, uh, because just my connection is weird. Oh, well, welcome, TA. Glad you can come on out as well. Testing, okay. All right, um, so yeah, let's, uh, get to it. Glad everyone can, uh, make it on out and watch me, uh, Brian Keselowski turn one every now and then. Because that's what the Roval is, right? You just, uh, go and, uh... Brad Keselowski turn one just like goes straight on and that's all you do. Who needs brakes? You have an act for knowing when I'm not going to be sober. Now I don't have to scramble to find something to watch on YouTube. Awesome, well I'm glad. Uh, hopefully I can provide some good content for you there, uh, TA. Hopefully I can... Uh, live up to your expectations. I'll tell you what, though. I don't know what's even good on YouTube right now. I've really just been looking up a bunch of uh, Heat 4 coverage, and really, Real Radman's like the only person that's doing it, so... He released a new video about uh, starting in any series, and turns out that if you start in whatever uh, series apart from the Dirt uh, series, you actually skip hot seats so I don't know how that's exactly going to work with uh, um, with uh, getting uh, starting our own team hopefully it doesn't matter in the long run because for anyone that doesn't know um, I'm going to be running uh, exclusively the expandy series in Heat 4 career mode starting from the ground up with our own team hopefully that doesn't impact anything I've but, been watching Top Gear and F1 videos and trucking sim bits. And trucking sim? I actually have been, like, unironically getting, like, uh, a bunch of uh, trucking simulator uh, videos in my uh, recommended. I think it's also because uh, Real Radman uh, does that as well. So, like, all right, since I've been watching him, YouTube is just like, oh, yeah, since you're watching NASCAR 84, you'll love trucking simulator. I'm just like, no thanks, but thanks, YouTube. Anyway, so yeah, Roval is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I actually, uh, um, well, since we already did uh, the Cup Series race over here, it's pretty much the same exact uh, layout and where your breaking points are and all that. Tenth place, eh, not that bad. Justin O'Gar is second. That ticks me off, but whatever. I know we can win this race. If we ran, if we can win the Cup race, we can win the Xfinity race. No doubt about that. Any noteworthies back here? Any noteworthies up here? Nope. Apart from, like, Dale Jr., who just doesn't perform well, so I guess there's that. 
So yeah, um, no one got ding, so damn. I'm hoping like all guy can get sent to the back like he did in Watkins Glen, but whatever. Let's uh, let's just have a good race, chat. I mean, we're two races after this uh, until the end of the season. ATS was one of the last games unexpected to buy. Watched one video from Squirrel and I was already price checking on Steam. <laughs> you know, it's just interesting how some people have that. You know, I mean, like one good video and you're just like, I gotta get that. All right, so definitely not as bad as I thought it would, it would be right there in terms of uh, uh, starting up in the uh, chicane, which shouldn't be a thing, but whatever. Because I know the uh, the farther you are, uh, Some of those dudes go hardcore with their sim setup. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, sorry, I'm like really focusing right now. Th the, this section is going to be the death of me. I can, I can already tell. All right. Anyway, moving forward. Lost one spot. That's fine. Not a big deal. That part will be easy peasy when uh, we uh, get in clean air and can run our own line. Just like the Cup Series, the Chicane's always uh, the uh, worst spot for the AI. <laughs> Don't worry about it, my guy. Got a great run through there. Three wide, forced uh, Elliot Sadler wide, and he had to back off there. But we gained three positions right there. That's fine. That's always welcome in this stream. Looking for a fourth right here. There we go. Force him a little wide, and we're good. That's P7. How is Garrett Smithley up here? How did I not notice him? I only say that because I'm the guy who would get pissed off and disable text to speech because it broke my focus. Oh. Now, honestly, like, I'm going to miss uh, text to speech when I uh, start streaming from my PC, guys. You have no idea. Like, there's a, there are times where I am thankful that I can actually, like, hear it and not have to look down. So, like, when I start streaming from my PC, I'm not going to have that. Oh, that's that's unfortunate right there. We had to slow up in order to uh, accommodate Ryan Priest. We could have gained two spots right there potentially if we were I am too uber believing. aggressive. Oh, you uh, you turned yours on as well. Why can't you have it on PC? Because uh, it is a uh, a thing from uh, PlayStation only. That was a late lunge right there. It's a uh, PlayStation or Xbox setup that you can have it uh, have all comments read to you. It's a part of their broadcast service. Late, I didn't know I could turn mine on. I'm so new to this. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Because you uh, stream from your console, correct, TA? If so, yeah, it's all part of uh, the advanced uh, settings option. Yes, PS4. Exactly, yep. Yeah. Uh, if you just go to advanced settings uh, right before you uh, like hit start broadcasting, um, part of it is uh, have like text-to-speech and you can actually uh, modulate the uh, volume and all that. So we're doing really good right now. Up uh, five positions from our starting spot. That's very welcome in the stream. So right now, currently, if the race ended this lap, Allgaier would be minus one to us going into Kansas. And I am not confident on Kansas at all, chat. If you watch my cup race there, 
that is the worst place I've finished in the Cup Series to date. And Kansas, I know, is already hard. I'm slipping and sliding through here. And it seems like Allgaier is plenty fast because he's not holding up uh, Matt Tipped up there. So we have a race, chat. I don't know if we'll win. Because, I don't know, it's weird. It seems like the Xfinity Series has been, like, consistently harder than the uh, Cup Series or Truck Series. I don't know why, but, uh, like, if you go to the same tracks on the other series as you put, as you go to the Xfinity Series, I just perform worse. It could just be race lengths or something. I don't know. Good job. But we're making great time. If we just keep it clean and hit our marks, we can uh, we can definitely uh, pull out a good finish from our butt. It is right there, though, on uh, that little mini stray right there that I am most worried about. If I'm going to wreck anywhere, it's not going to be the chicane. It's going to be right there. I can just tell that right now. Because there is like a weird bump. There's like a weird bump that uh, you hit as you uh, go through like that little mini straight. And it really knocks your car around. And if you hit it just right on the throttle, it will just shove you into... Uh, into the inside fence. Right side. Clear, right side. There we go, and that's P4. We're making our way forward, because... Right side. Oh, hang on. Cold cost is not done yet. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I see you, I see you. I'll let it go for right now. Maybe do the little undercut. No, okay. Crossover. Crossover there here. Nope, okay. Alright, you live another lap. Uh, apparently I got damage from that, so... Uh, 2%, I don't know how that happened. From a little baby tap like that, too. There we go. That's what dreams are made of, chat. All right, we have third place uh, in front of us a little ways. What's in interesting to note, though, is... I don't know if you all have seen it. Allgaier is actually caught behind Daniel Hemrick. So, right now, if I can catch him, it will actually be to our benefit. Because he's being held up, and he's clearly faster than Daniel. Go a little wide right there. Well, that being said, Cole is just not letting us go. So yeah, how how are y'all doing tonight? How's your day at school, work, life? My day was great. It was just uh, one of those um, kind of days that like feels like it was kind of like going by uh, so slowly, but as soon as you are, are aware of it, aware of how slowly it goes, it went by a lot faster. Like, my morning felt like it took, like, seriously, like, tw 12 hours. Doing presentations and whatnot. It just dragged on. But then, afternoon, I don't have nearly as many uh, classes, nor the uh, 
as many uh, students in each class, and it went by so much faster. I had a nap, so I feel like it's been three days in a week. <laughs> Man, that's the life. Wish I could do that. What's a nap? I don't even know what a nap is. You guys take naps? Tia, you said you're in college, right? If you don't mind me asking, uh, are you planning on going to grad school? And if so, actually, what are you going for again? Was only able to because my class didn't start until 140. Ooh, that's fun. I gotta love those. I gotta love those late starts. So I'm really avoiding that bump right there that just throws you off. But sliding like that's not really helping me nor my tires. So I may do something a little interesting here. So this is a one-stop race, no matter how you slice it. Um, like, our fuel window is literally like... 40 laps and out of a 55 lap race I may pit as soon as the fuel window opens so like I'm going for radio wow. TV and film and grad school is something I'm open to but I likely will not start it immediately after graduating okay yeah I, I remember asking you before and I'm sorry like I'm my memory is terrible uh, so I remember you uh, saying what you did, I just couldn't remember. So my apologies on that. But no, okay, that's awesome. And especially with you uh, Twitch streaming, you know, it really helps out with that. All right, so we're catching uh, all these guys right here. Matt Tiff, Daniel Hamrick, Justin Allgaier. So yeah, as soon as the window opens, which is uh, lap 15, I may come on down. And so if there's a caution that uh, comes on out, I can actually jump everyone. It's not like I'm gonna lose a lap, so like, I feel like that's how I'm gonna play the strategy. I want to work and learn how to adult before grad school. Oh no, I totally get you. By the way, Chad, if you're uh, interested on uh, seeing a person that uh, that does really well at a career mode, besides me, just kidding, I'm terrible at career mode. Check out TA66 on Twitch. Really cool guy and very, very funny. Not like this guy over here that's uh, talking. Man, we are just driving away from Cole Custer. There is just like. Half the distance between turns one and two between us. I appreciate the plug, my dude. Anytime, my guy. So, let's go forward. Forward and onward. PFC is also a uh, streamer, and I think he's still in this uh, chat. Definitely check out him as well. Him and his brother swap uh, from time to time on uh, what to race, but all these guys are Heat 3 streamers, so if you're looking for more quality streams, definitely check out them. Yes. There he is. Yeah, definitely check him out.
both really cool guys. And by the way, I appreciate y'all for coming on out. If you're just new here, or uh, this is your first time popping in, um, this is the uh, Xfinity Championship race at the Roval. Uh, after this race, we'll have two races left in the season. And currently, four points separate myself and the guy that's in second place right now in this race and the championship. So, we have a lot to win or lose here because uh, next race is Kansas, and I do not think I'm going to do well at Kansas, plain and simple. I will come out and say it. I think I'm going to finish like somewhere in the 20s. And therefore, I want as many points as I can on Allgaier because he can probably do a lot better than 20th. How are points awarded? Is it 4 5 or 4 3 for first? So, um, in uh. I will be streaming championship mode tonight. Hey, there you go. Self plug, there, right there. Go ahead and check them out. Anyway, um, so in this season, since we're not doing stages, uh, first place gets, uh, 40. It's so it's kind of like a regular, um, I explained the uh, championship. Second place gets 35, um, 36, yeah, 34 for uh, third, 33 for fifth, or fourth. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm trying to say numbers as I'm, like, driving, and I'm, like, actually running on two brain cells. So, but you get what I'm saying. One, minus one point for every, uh, for every position, but first place gets 40. The only reason why we're still actually up here and uh, facing a championship potential um, is because we've won so many races. That's like one of the only reasons why we are still in this championship hunt. Allgaier has been like really consistent. Stage points confuse me. The game doesn't count them unless it's a stage win, but NBC stresses stage points hardcore. Oh, I mean, that's for playoff points. Um, stage points are, um, uh, like, you know, like, if you finish in the top ten, uh, you get a bonus points. So, like, that's the easiest way to think about it. And it's actually on this game as well, but, like, I just choose not to race with it. Because AI do really weird things with uh, uh, with stages on. Almost just went right into the outside wall there. Man, I really need my frames to come back. Really loose there. Really unstable. So, as soon as we catch lap traffic, is when I'm going to uh, come on down. However, because that's what allows me to maximize uh, being able to run my line as much as possible, while also uh, being able to make it the rest of the way. And we should be catching them within a couple laps. And we can go the rest of the way now. I can definitely feel my tire wear starting to kick in, though. So if my finishing position earns me 4-0 points, but I also finished 9th in Stage 1, I'd have 4-2 points? Correct. Alternatively, if you, uh won both stage and won the race, you get 60. So, yeah, that's why they say that, like, um, points matters, because, you know, they're, they are. They're free bonus points for running consistently throughout the race. Now, one thing I feel like could, they could possibly change is um, not have a caution 
after each uh, stage, just click off, okay, these are the top 10 finishers after X laps, and they just keep the race green, you know? Because, yes, that opens up the door for strategy. Like, use Pocono, for example, of them, like, short-stopping before the end of the uh, stage break. Before the start of the stage break, I mean. But, you know, I feel like that can also hinder races as well. Yeah, there was really no uh, real chance of uh, us getting that position there. We can set this up for turn one. Hashtag education with private pattern. Well, thank you. I'm going to become a teacher, you know. It's what I do. I like to teach. Huh. You're like a NASCAR. That's what I'm going to be like to my students. Alright, so yeah, we're, uh, we're... Uh, actually, I don't know. Hang on. Are we saving that much fuel? Next lap. Not, not this lap, next lap. We're, uh, coming on down. Because we've only like saved throughout this. your students why NASCAR isn't just cars turning left and open a door for potential new fans. Well, I'm gonna try, uh, because um, all my students so far have been asking me like, do I play any games? And when I say do I play, um, I say I play racing games. I'm not about to tell them I play like NASCAR E3 or anything like that because they barely even know what NASCAR is, and if so, they think it's like a redneck sport, you know. Um, so uh, I they always ask me like, oh yeah, do you play Forza? I'm just like, oh no, unfortunately, if I had time, uh, I would uh, play like uh, first-person shooters. But little do they know, I actually stream. So I'm gonna take it just easy here. Since I'm pitting this lap anyway. The, the chicane is going to be a, uh, a major bit. That's why I'm kind of lagging back a little bit so I can actually lunge forward. The fan base is redneck, but the engineering behind it all requires so much intelligence. Yeah. By the way, Matt Tiff just totally just destroyed us right there. It's a good thing we didn't actually, like, f fully, uh, wreck. But... That was forcing our hand anyway. Not all rednecks, but I'm from Bristol, so you can imagine. <laughs> I'm a dirt track bandit from Bristol, Tennessee. Anyway, so yeah, we pretty much can just keep it where it is. Everything's pretty much good. Kind of sucks about that damage, but whatever. So we can make it on fuel, even if there isn't a caution. But with a caution, we are extra in there because uh, that means we cycle to the lead. I think we're actually going to be opened in a pocket of fresh air too. So. Oh nope, just Brandon Jones. All right, moving forward. Man, how can you? That's one thing I'm wondering is I had a fanboy moment when I heard that song, but also got mad because they don't have a dirt track so that Bandit would have to drive back. Going for that gap.
But no, that's funny, like, how, uh, how the, uh, songs on, uh, this game are, like, really good, actually. Like, the soundtrack is really nice. My personal favorites are, uh, Black Dagger and, uh, Nowhere Fast. I hope, uh, the soundtrack's as solid as it was, uh, solid, um, solid as it was in Heat 3 for Heat 4. Like, there's really no bad song on here. I hate country music, but I love Left Turn. Same. I absolutely detest it, but, like, Left Turn is actually halfway decent. Like, it's not going to make me, like, love country, but, like, I will listen to that song, like, once in a blue moon. Like, hell, I'll turn on my Spotify and be like, yeah, you know what, let's listen to some NASCAR Heat 3 soundtrack. And if that's the first song that pops up, I'm not going to skip it. Really aggressive Little through them. In fact, Bristol is the official birthplace of country music. I thought that was Nashville. Really? Why is it in Nashville? That was smooth right there with that double right. Nashville is the home. Alright, well, I guess I was just assuming that it was both the home and the birth. But I guess not. Hey, learn something new every day, right? Alright, so we're gonna tear these cars apart one piece at a time. One by one. Holy... Holy crap, do you see Christopher Bell there, chat? He was grinding on that left side. But the first recording sessions by the Carter family took place in Bristol, Tennessee in 1929. Ooh, man, show me some history right there. I love me some history. Don't feel bad I didn't know that until I was in seventh grade. Well, I was today years old when I uh, learned about that. Right, All right, well, that didn't work. Definite today I learned moment. So these guys are not going to be pitting for at least another, uh, at least another, uh, 15 laps. And even then, they're probably just going to... They even have a museum for it. Ironically, it's in Bristol, Virginia. Oh, right. Huh. Man. Tell me some more. Educate me on the country ways. Play right. And go for it. There we go. We went for it. Alright, we good, we good. Back up in the 8th from, uh, what was it, 13th? When we came out. We're making up about a second a lap on the leader, who I'm assuming is Allgaier right now. Look. 
sub cozy Twin in the Virginia side was willing to spend money and Tennessee wasn't they wanted it to be a big tourist attraction that's not welcome to the stream cozy how was your stream how how did that go I saw you were live and I was at uh I was at uh, my host school for student teaching, so I wasn't able to watch. Streaming and having a snack. Mmm, tasty. Went way too deep right there. Overall, though, we're keeping it pretty clean, apart from uh, Matt Tift uh, when he just creamed our uh, our backside heading into the chicane. I'm telling you what. You're making me hungry now, Cozy. There we go. We can get through the bus. It's not a bus stop, it's a chicane. Um, so much better than, uh... So much better than the AI. Hopefully they fix that for Heat 4, because this is actually, like, obscene. And the walls are not nearly as long enough. I should not be able to just fly over those curbs. And alas, here we are. The stream descent so far was doing overwatch. Oh, Overwatch, nice. You know, I've always, uh, if there was a first-person shooter that I'd play, like, other than, like, Call of Duty, like, if I ever played first-person shooter, I would actually, uh, want to watch... Nah, want to watch. I would actually want to play Overwatch. Don't know why. I just think that it'd be a lot more balanced, I feel. I don't know. Maybe that's bias in and of itself. Joey Gaze, holy god, what are you doing up here, my dude? You're not supposed to be in the top five. What are you? You're like a three-star car. ILL be racing at Road America off stream. Dude, you should stream that. Road America's awesome. Holy mum. Holy ravioli. That was not a very good set of sections right there. Well, cut me up into a little bite-sized hot pocket and smother me in garlic sauce. That was terrible. Classic inconsistent ratio for running position and equipment. <laughs> I am bad at Road America. Hello, a little slip and slide through there. I mean, it'd be one thing if it was, like, a super speedway, because, like, literally those are the great equalizers. And I guess road courses are as, as well, but, like... When I can't catch him, either I'm doing something wrong, or he's doing something really right. All right, so how are we doing? 20, oh, we, man, me, oh my, look at that. We gained 10 seconds on the leader. Oh, it's not Allgaier right now, no. He's in fourth place, that's fine. Hey, you know what, that's fine. Nailed it. It's only a matter of time. P5, 
Joey Case has the difficulty set to easy. Hey, chat. I'm not easy, okay? It's actually really difficult being... being this good. Oh man. Now I have to deal with lap traffic. That was one thing I avoided by pitting right there. But now it's another that I have to now go through the same lap traffic. Joey Gay, stop. You're not going to out-drag race me on the backstretch. I will be streaming Canadian Tire in both Darlington races tonight. There you go. I'm just saying you should definitely race Road America, though. Road America is my favorite uh, road course chat. I said Gay's does, and that's why he's running so real. You're an AI from his perspective. Oh, my, oh God. Can you imagine? That's a... <laughs> That's a blown mind right there. Major, major think moment there. Can you imagine if like to all these AI drivers that I'm an AI to them, it's like, oh man, I should really lower the difficulty. This, this guy's just too good. Like they're playing at legend and I'm just like blowing past them. Oh man, that was a lovely crossover. Clear all around. That's what dreams are made of, right there. That was beautiful, actually. I don't mean to pat myself on the bat on the back that hard, but that was that was pretty good. And of course, it doesn't really mean anything. Back to streaming. Oh, thanks, Cozy, for stopping out. Hopefully the rest of your stream goes well. Okay, I'm backing out of this one. They are called adaptive AI. It makes sense they could become sentient. Oof. Can you imagine if uh, Jeff Green became sentient? I'm a wreck everyone. Can you imagine if Nally Decker in Heat 4 became sentient? Grab my hat and just flip it over her Thanks, uh, shoulder. Hope your ghost goes right. too. Uh, Thanks, there. man. All clear, all clear. Not gonna lie, I was uh, looking at chat there and I forgot what corner I was on. It's a good thing. It's a good thing uh, the Roval is actually kind of forgiving. Because I was actually for a hot second freaking out right there. I was like, oh god, where am I at right now? Where's my breaking point? But yeah, we're just gonna take it easy right now. We're slowly just naturally uh, uh, gaining on these cars in front of us. So all got gain to spot right there. So far, no caution, too. That's, that's another thing that's surprising. All this has been uh, all natural for the first halfway, uh, for the first half of this race. Oh, that was actually a really good corner right there. And that, that's so satisfying when you can actually nail that corner specifically because it like arcs and goes down so like, it feels like you're like truly like arc diamonding the corner like perfectly and if you can actually nail the backstretch chicane like perfectly that's another like oh feels good man moments right there Like, kind of like that, except a little tighter. 
I don't know, like, um, at Road America, if you can nail the, uh, turn three, as well as, uh, the carousel perfectly, those are, like, the major, uh, sections that you lose a lot of time on, and if you can nail those, then, hey, yeah, you're in business. You're basically winning the race. Mid-Ohio, it's the, uh, keyhole. I will be streaming around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, that just feels so good. Awesome, man. Uh, I'm probably I'm gonna be at work at that time. So, but if I have a free moment, I will definitely check it out. But yeah, it's um at Mid Ohio. It's the keyhole as well as um the uh what's it called the uh carousel sonoma for me it's a uh, the last turn as well as what's going to be the carousel But on this game, though, it's, a uh, what is that, actually, turn, it's like five and six, I think? Well, someone careened away right there, creamed the wall. So, Cold Custer's directly in front of us. I have no idea where Allgaier is. That's worrying. That means he's actually climbing the field. Balls. I don't want him to do well. Chad, can you make him not do well? Like, honestly, for, like, Kansas, uh... Which is going to be on Friday, I do believe. I'm going to need him to, like, to, like, blow an engine and not finish. Right side. That's, like, the only way I'm probably going to, like, outrace him at Kansas. Up, oh, slight scrape of the wall. No big deal. We good. Man, I hate the frame drops. By the way, Chad, how's the stream looking? Quality alright? Any frame drops or anything like that? We're more than halfway, so I just wanted to make sure that we're all we're all Gucci. Break him a little bit right there. Al Dyer's too busy beating you in 2018 to win 2019. I'm backing out of this one. Yeah, he's too busy kicking my ass right now. He was actually, um, for anyone that is new around here, um, or at least newer. Um, Allgaier was actually leading the points since, like, literally the second race. He has just been the the man of consistency. There's only a couple times where he has finished outside of the uh, top ten. Oh my god, Jeff Green. Calm down. Go ahead. Back out of that one, I guess... Hey, dude, if you want to battle that much, go ahead. Be my guest. You do you. Oh, man. Couldn't even get alongside. What a... He dive bombs me, but couldn't even complete the pass. So here I am, minding my own business, and Jeff Green 
out of nowhere. Do a barrel roll. Right into my side. Alright, so I'm just going to actually kind of just... Just do it again, I guess. Right side. Clear all around. Except get this done here in turn three. You got all the room you need. There we go. Oh, found all guy. Oh, well, it makes sense why he's uh, kind of choked up back here. Can't get past his own teammate. To think, I made up 45 seconds on these guys because they just can't figure out how to pass each other. That's a ballsy move, Allgaier. Well, thanks, Annette, for just <laughs> making her a teammate give me that spot. on the inside of Cole Custer. Clear all around. Oh my god, we have like half the field up here. Oh, uh, Michael and I, just let your teammate go. Like, I'm all for the sake of, uh, hold them up, but, like, that's just ridiculous. You're his teammate, dude. Take it nice and slow through here. Left side. Clear, left side. All right, that's Chad Finchman net down. I really slow up there because I had no idea what was happening. Left side. I feel like I just came out of the frying pan into the fire here. Actually, wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, but being single file would be most appreciated coming into uh, the chicane. So let's let off a little early. A little harder on the brakes. Perfect. Because I do not want a caution. Needless to say. Right side. Oh man, we're just holding each other up for no reason. What am I going to do here? Come on, Ross. You got this, bud. Kind of slide on up. Make sure Matt Tip doesn't get to my left. I think Daniel Hamrick is still... Yep, he's still leading. I mean, he still needs to make a pit stop here in, like, the next lap or so, so I'm not that worried about it.
There we go. Right side. Now see, you see how that happens, chat? Carl Long messed me up there. Now I need a pit in order to get these repairs. I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so mad if I'm gonna be like sent all the way to the back because that was actually not even my fault. That was literally. Okay. Well, we have a lot to do now, chat. A lot to make up for. All right, you're coming to the green. That was Carl Long hitting my rear into turn one. All right, now this is just damage limitation now. Actually upset. Salt. We had the strategy right too, but Carl Long just die bombed and just hit my rammed me in the rear. Now I need to be aggressive in order to get back up there. Hey. What's up, Cameron? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. No. Chad Finch, I'm taking it out on you because uh, your teammate messed me up there. That's awesome, man. Glad you can stop on out. Hopefully I can put up a good enough show for... Alright, so 25th right now, all guy is directly in front of us. Just need to get around him. Kind of give these guys a little wider berth, because apparently Carl Long can't respect the leader. Alright. Yeah, we're making great time. Back out of that. Oh, that was my fault, actually. I'm gonna show y'all the, uh... The replay after of and show how Carl Long ruined my race. Now this is a story all about how Carl Long took me upside down. We at least just gotta keep in touch with Allgaier. We just can't lose points on him. Coming to tend to go at the line though. Back out of that. Try to squeeze him. 
but didn't have the grip down. Really overdriving it in order to catch up to him. Chad, hopefully you all are uh, enjoying the stream. Thank you all for coming out. And if any of you are new here, hello, my name is Private Patton. I uh, race uh, all NASCAR games, uh, mostly Heat 3 and soon to be Heat 4. I do championship currently in order to finish up that before Heat 4 comes out. And yeah. Okay, I'm backing out of that. Try to make it around the outside, but Allgaier was too fast on the draw. We're all new to the world of sentient AI. Yeah, TA, did you see me just get blown away by calling along? It is a strange new world we live in. Car along is going to be the new uh, Jeff Green, I swear. know what happened um so the ai started pitting and uh i only I, heard it i got in front of uh a group of lap traffic one of them involved uh carl long and um he totally just like slammed into me from uh, going into turn one, and that spin spun me out, and I hit the wall because of it, creating 15 seconds worth of damage I needed to fix. So I had a pit, even though we already pit, like which is why my entire strategy hung around that. But yeah, Carl Long was just not respecting the uh, leader, let alone the championship battle. But that's just sentient AI, I guess. I'll show you guys the replay of it. Hopefully it picks it up. Okay, so yeah. We're two spots away from Allgaier, and we have a lot to do. Because he's definitely faster than us. If it were Watkins Glen, that's when I drive bomb turn one and hope we all come out alive. <laughs> I like the way you think. There we go, in front of Allgaier now. Right oh, never mind, he's through the uh, inside of me. Okay, okay, Allgaier. I mean, I'm gonna go in there to wreck anyone. Allgaier is just not gonna give that place up. He knows all the po every point matters. But if I can gain two zero positions, I'm going it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that didn't work. To the inside we go.
Well, I didn't actually mean to go to the inside of Ross there, but okay. We're here anyway. Alright, all guard, do you have something better that we want to do here? Because you and I both back here, bud. Go ahead, Tiger, knock him dead. Damn, this was our win our our race to win here. Stuff happens, I guess. Spider Geyer. Spider Geyer. Right side. Oh, yeah, no, okay, no. I saw All Geyer just dive to the inside. I'm just like, nope, nope, hard pass. I am not about to risk getting wrecked by the AI doing dumb things. Left side clear. I thought I was being careful around Carl Long. But we all know how that went. Okay. I just don't want there to be a caution, and then we're coming down to two laps to go. I cannot make up the ground I uh, I originally Wrong lost. Button. All right, here we go. Ross, come on, hold him up, bud. Now, don't just get out of his out of the way. Ugh. Come on, Ross. Actually, Ross, you're a genius. I like the way you think, Ross. I'm following you. You know what's up. It is good for us. Algar can't get around Ty Dillon. And now we have Ross in between him and me. That's perfect. That's bueno. And I see two more positions that we can gain here. Oh, Austin Cindric, you really just slowed up for no reason. Sca scared the living daylights out of me. Careful now, still there. All clear, all clear. Oh man, I do not want to see Algar gaining positions. That's exactly what I'm seeing, right? If I as I look right behind me. Ross, go away. Easy. Coming to two to go this time, chat. It looks like this is going to be the position that we're going to be finishing in.
Oh, I see a blown engine, though. Is that going to be a caution? I really hate how uh, Algar keeps uh, gaining positions on us. Keeps knocking down the traffic we're putting up. I mean, I guess sooner or later the uh, faster car does win, so... Keeping this up so I know where he is. I don't think he's gonna pass him. That's awesome. Perfect. If he stays in 15th, you know what? That's awesome. Cool. Someone won this race. It's probably Daniel Hamrick, honestly. To the line. Uh, definitely not the position that we were hoping for. I'll show you guys the replay. Hopefully it picks it up. It was... Nope. Here? Nope. Here. Yep, okay. Right here? They slow up, so I take advantage of both of them. I break, and then boom. And then boom. Here, one more time. So I get a huge run. They're, they're pitting right there. They're all pitting right behind me. Get a huge run on these guys because they all slow each other up. I break. Car long ignores that. And then, boom. And then I go into the wall. That was not my fault, chat. That was literally the AI going about their daily business and ignoring me. Like, it's like I wasn't even there on the racetrack. Look at that. One more time. Break. Yep. Gotta love AI. Chad, do you guys think that was my fault there? One more time. Was this my fault? Break. Ram. I don't think that was my fault. I was literally taking my line as mm. usual. That was literally me racing because the AI messed each other up. So I was moving forward and try to take advantage. That was Carl Long just ignoring me. Like, I wasn't even there. So we finished P13. Daniel Hammock wins the race. Woo, I guess. I see Joey Gates out there with a the top five. Justin Allgaier finishes 15, so... Definitely not as good of a point stay as it could have been. But I'll take two points. So, yeah, now we have a, uh, a points gap of six. Instead of what, what could have been, like, 10 or, hell, maybe even 15. But... Uh, we're going to Kansas next time, and uh, I'm not too confident there, chat. That is just a race that I am not... I'm praying for some divine intervention there. Good for Ross, finishing P16 there. 
and then Tyler Reddick for syncing up the place. Okay. But yeah, we move on with our lives. Not a big deal, but that's why I love this series, honestly. It's just how close it is. And the unpredictability of what can happen in the uh, in the race. Because we finished P15, but Justin Allgaier finished like 9th. We finished 13th, but he finishes 15th. So we're like neck and neck. We're we're having bad finishes, he's having bad finishes. We're having a good race, he's having a good race. It's so I hope that trend continues with Kansas that uh I'm going to have a bad race probably, most likely, hopefully not, and he has a bad race. So yeah. Chat, hopefully y'all enjoyed. I will show y'all the settings one more time. 105 difficulty, uh normal tire wear and strict